Hey, I saw Oppenheimer yesterday and as a physics nerd, I totally loved it. Of course. One thing that was really interesting about it for me is it reminds me in the context of market testing and finding a market you love. In quantum physics, nothing happens unless something interacts. Now, there's all sorts of weird stuff that can happen that seems weird, but it's not weird. But anyway, this is not about physics. This is about starting a business. All you need to know is that without two things interacting, nothing happens. In business, it's exactly the same. If you don't interact with your market, one customer speaking to somebody else, if there's no interaction, there's no business. When I'm coaching and I'm speaking to people who are, are jaded or entrepreneurially depressed about how their business is going, I ask them, hey, how many times have you helped a client this week? How many times have you chatted to your market this week? Inevitably, the answer is near zero. This, to me, it's everything. If you're going to sell something, you need to interact with your market. When it comes to market testing, ultimately, the thing that we need to know right now for the rubber to hit the road is that you're going to enjoy interacting with the market you choose. We also need to make sure that they're prepared to respond back because it's all well and good if you enjoy what you're doing, but if nobody's interested in talking to you, then that's no good as a market either. What are we going to do to make sure the market you pick, the area, the niche you're going to dedicate your time and build your business in is worth your while at this early stage? Fortunately, there is an absolute no-brainer process. And we're going to talk about it today. The first thing you've got to do is find a market where people are going to interact with you. We've talked about that. We've got the Ikigai super prompt. We've talked about researching your market. All of the preceding videos in this testing market, we've gotten to that point. By the way, I should say down below, there is a link to the newsletter and resources that accompany this video, including links in order of all of the market testing videos. Won't actually take you very long to do it, but that's gonna be useful for you. Hey, and while you're heading down that direction, make sure you hit like and subscribe. It's really important. It makes a big difference to how far this video spreads. And I'd love you to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so you know when I put up a new one. So this is a really interesting concept, right? Finding a market and making sure that you are excited to help them. Now, help's an interesting word because it intimates that there is a problem that needs solving. Not all markets are problem markets. A lot are, but not all of them are. Sometimes people are doing things because they want to get better at something. They love what they do and they want to get better. Interestingly, if we look at physics, there's an answer. It's about people who want to change their state. And what's really interesting is without interaction in physics, it's impossible to change state because the energy remains the same, except for entropy, but let's not go there. You need to find a market where people are looking for some sort of transformation. That's the key. They want to change their state. Wherever they are now, there's somewhere where they want to get to. And you have to enjoy the process of helping people make that transformation. You're providing, dare I say it, the energy in the interaction. You're providing the catalyst for them to make that change. And the people who are able to do that never worry about money ever again in their life. So the first part is, can you help in that state change? Can you help in that transformation? Can you help? Now, here's the interesting thing. I didn't say, do you have expertise and knowledge in that market. I did not say that at all. I said, do you have a desire to help? Are you interested in that market? Because if you don't have that, we can't go anywhere. But a lot of you are thinking, I'm not an expert. I can't help. Rubbish. That's just not true. We talk about the journey entrepreneur. We've talked about it a lot. It's you having a desire to help people. Could you spend 15 minutes Googling something to help somebody out in the market you want to test? Of course you can. That's all you need to do. That's what I mean by helping. Are you prepared to assist? Because if you're not prepared to assist, then let's 
stop this process right now and head to another market because that's a go, no go step. So let's get practical. How do we know that? Because it's all well and good to say, oh yes, Ed, I'll do that. No problems at all. No worries. I've got you. Yeah. Let's prove it. There's a very easy way to do that because it's not what people say. It's how they act. Dare I say it in quantum physics? It's what we observe, which changes what happens, but that's not neither here nor there. Here's how you're going to do it. You're going to prove you can help people by, for the next week, scheduling five, at least 25 minute periods where you show up in marketplace and all the places that we've discovered in the prior videos, remember link down below to get access to all the market testing resources. We've shown you how to do all that. You're going to go into that market over the next five days and you're going to spend at least 25 minutes. You're going to schedule it and you're going to do it because here's the thing. If you don't, if you can't at least hit five days of 25 minutes, you're not serious about the market. You're not serious about the business. If other things get in the way, that's a problem. I don't care how busy you are, 25 minutes. You've got to be able to invest bare minimum 25 minutes. I love a CFT, 50 minutes, critical focus time. But 25 minutes, five days a week, that'll show you you enjoy that market. That's enough. Five days a week, have the weekends off. I'm all for it. Have two days off wherever it is, but schedule it and do it. Hey, something may have happened the first time, but if you go and schedule it again and you miss it again, what's that telling you? This isn't the market for you. Once we've done those five sessions, there's something else that we have to gauge. This is not something that a lot of people talk about and people think it might be getting a little bit woo, but hey, continuing our theme, it really is physics. Did you enjoy it? And most importantly, did it raise your energy level, your state? So when you finished, you felt more energy than when you started. Oh, Ed, what are you doing? You're going all weird. No, here's the first thing you need to understand. Okay. Remember I said the energy at the end of the session, because I'll tell you right now, you're going to hate it to start with, because that's every piece of creation ever. I hated starting this video, but now I'm into it. I'm enjoying it. My energy level's increasing. There's no question. No, for a start that as soon as you start going to helping people, you're going to hate, like in the run up to it, you're going to hate it because every creative event causes pain. Simple. It's a fundamental of life. Any energy transition, you know, dare I say it, Oppenheimer fans, it's an explosion. Not pleasant. I just want you to take a note. What's your energy level when you start? Spoiler alert. If you're doing it right, it should be relatively low because nobody enjoys sitting down their butt in a chair, starting to create something. Nobody in human history does that. They may say they're lying. At the end of the session, I want you to note how you felt over those five days. You should see if you were a two or three or a four, when you started, which is about where most people will be, you should be at a seven, eight, nine, 10 at the end of the 25 minutes when that timer goes off, because you always feel great after you do it. Just like when you're at the gym, again, it's life. This is a fundamental of physics. Like that first exercise that you do in the gym is painful, right? You go, and why am I doing this? But then after you finish the session, you feel the energy. You have the pump. After doing this for five consistent days, and at the end of the session, you don't feel better. You don't have an energy lift after you've been helping people in that market. That is a big yellow flag. All things being equal. You need that enthusiasm, energy benefit of helping people in your market because that's the fuel that gets you to come back the next day and get through that initial resistance period. Because remember, anything worth doing, thanks Stephen Pressfield, anything worth doing is going to spark resistance when you start it. And the, probably the more worth it is for you to do, the bigger the resistance. It's just how nature works. Okay, so if we've got through all those steps, what's our next one? Helping in the comments, in the Facebook group, on uh, a Reddit chat, whatever you do, okay? The next step, and this is the transition from helping as a hobby and a business, and you have to be comfortable with this step, 
is you need to send what we call in the trade, a hey message, a direct message. All I want you to do is if you help them in Instagram, do it there. If you help them in Reddit, do it there. Wherever the direct message did in LinkedIn, do it there. Or you've got a capacity to DM in any of the social medias. So send a direct message to the person that you helped. And all I want you to do is say, hey, and their name. So if you were helping me to be, hey, Ed, I personally put an exclamation mark, but whatever feels comfortable to you. That's all. I don't expect a result. I don't expect anything. I just expect you to send that direct message. Okay. I don't care if there is feedback or a result or anything, just do that. Because if you can do that for every person you help in these 25 minute periods, then you're kicking off what you will come to know as a key way of getting business. But most importantly, you are kicking off an interaction. Remember the atomic unit of business. And if you can't bring yourself to do that, at the end of the day, you're going to have to communicate with people. You have to interact with people to have a business. There's no choice. You must interact. If you don't want to interact with people, then you're going to have to find another line of work. We're not selling. We're not doing anything. We're just interacting. We're just trying to help aid their state change, their transformation. That's all. Now, what's a cool thing is as you do this and the aim of doing this is some people, not many, if you send 10 messages, maybe one, two will respond. And that's cool. You all right, what do I do? What do I do if they respond? At this stage, just have a conversation. I'd say, hey, did you find that conversation helpful? By the way, do not do this in the comments of a Facebook group or Instagram or anywhere. You have to have the conversation in a direct message. All right. Very important. In a future video, I'll give you a series of questions. But for right now, just sending a hey message, having them send something back to you. And if one or two out of 10 do that, you're really cooking with gas here. You're onto something. So that's our mission. This is our market testing. If you get through all those steps, you've got a keeper. You've got something worth us going to the next stage of the process. You've got a market that you can have fun in, play in, help people, make money, have freedom, have time, and most importantly, have something that gives you the energy at the end of the process that will get you over the inevitable times where it's a little bit tougher to do business because that's life again. All right. Hopefully that was super useful. Again, I'd love to hear your comments below. What was your sort of aha or thing that came to mind for you when you were watching this video? I'd want you to go to that link for the newsletter, get all the resources. There's an entire playlist there for you. What's amazing about this day and age is AI can help you. By the way, we've got an AI trainer I built for you that will help you practice these hay conversations. How cool is that? So you can practice and get really comfortable. Do 50 to 100 of those practices and then helping people will feel like water off a duck's back. So lots of resources, lots of stuff. Let's get this done. Let's do this. There's never been a better time to start a business. And remember kids, don't forget, like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Have a great day. See you soon.